Hello everyone, I'm Max Shallow and today I'm going to be talking about going from zero to one in business. So starting from literally knowing nothing to, to building up a company and some of the things that really helped me on the way and some of the things that are like the core reasons of um, why I'm here now. And yeah, if I go back, I was finishing off my high school around four or five years ago in Switzerland and I really had no idea what I wanted to do. So at first I thought, okay, I'll just select some random study that, that could be interesting. In this case, it was psychology. But after around three months of sitting in the library, reading through a lot of psychology books, I really realized, yeah, this, this isn't for me. So I dropped out and had a couple months to really think, what do I really like? And what do I want to do with my life? So I started to kind of think, yeah, okay, I'm really interested in technology and always have been, and the businesses that have built up these technologies. I thought that's something more for me. So then I went to, to a different university to start studying uh, international business. And luckily on the way, I straight away found a friend who had like kind of uh, a lot of energy, just like me, and wanted to try a lot of different things and just, just be involved in a lot of things. And we, we saw that we were already working well, really well together because we were setting up these parties for, for the students and everything, trying to make them bigger every time and kind of like competing against each other to see who could get more people to come or who could make it more fun. Um, and that, yeah, was really nice. And I mean, it, it was a fun uni time, but we never really saw that there was much impact in it and we wanted to do something bigger. So we kind of started to sell different products online, just shipping them in from, from China, putting our own brand on it and making up a web shop from that, um, which, which was kind of like a, a fun business and we learned a lot from that, but it really, yeah, it didn't sit right with us because again, there, there wasn't really any impact in it. It was just kind of reselling another product and yeah, the, so much more can be done, we thought at least. And then over the past three years, we've been, working together on this concept of um, shared mobility with electric bikes, where we put electric bikes in the, in the cities um, and you can rent them through an application, quite simply by just scanning the QR code uh, and then you're ready to go. And yeah, this, this has been a crazy journey. It, um, there's a slide with picture. Uh, we're sitting in the, the kitchen, just like all the startups started and now we're a company of 20 people and we're still growing quite a lot. And uh, yeah, it's been quite a journey. And a lot of the time I think back, what really got us to where we are now? I think a big, big part of it is that we're super, super shameless. So like, we really like to kind of be out there a little bit and a little bit different. And that, that, that's really nice because it, it gets the people remembering who you are and what you do, if you kind of had that like silly twist to it. So. For example, one time we were doing this promotion where we were trying to get more people to download the app. And then we had this cargo bike with a big platform on it. And we would just sit on it uh, with a karaoke machine and we would sing like popular songs, but we would be replacing the words with like download the Bondi app and stuff like that. Um, it was uh, quite embarrassing and we, we both can't sing. But again, it was a lot of fun. People were talking about it. People on the street saw it. It's, it's something different. And uh, yeah, that, that really helped us. And something else was uh, at the beginning, we were doing a lot of the battery swapping and my co-founder would like to wear this like muscle suit and a stupid wig to kind of like, yeah, get the people smiling who would be walking by. And then once again, even if the children are like pointing at it, then the parents start to see the brand and everything and notice that. So us being really shameless really got us out there and then connected us with investors, connected us with uh, different companies and everything, people just kind of saw this kind of funny vibe that we had. And uh, yeah, that, that really helped us out a lot as well. Um, but like another really crucial part that, that we have in the culture of the company, but also in ourselves when we were building this was that we're, we're super open to learning. And yeah, this is very crucial. I think if you want to build anything or if you're working on any project, because you can never really be an expert at anything. And especially uh, in, in our case, at least we're very young. We, we have never done something like this before. And we've, we've always known that. So we've always tried to find people who have maybe built a business before or have some sort of experience in the mobility field or financial field 
to see how they could help us because surely the problems we're facing today they've faced something similar in the past and yeah that was super good for us and through this we've kind of built our own support network of different people with different backgrounds who can who can really help us in in building this business and yeah it starts starts off super simple sometimes i don't know we're, we're struggling with something and sometimes we would even just message people on linkedin we would look at kind of like companies that are doing something similar or um people who just you know uh, are quite quite out there on linkedin in that field and we just text them do you want to meet for a coffee a lot of the time you'd, you'd be surprised you can text the top ceo of like some industry and and sometimes they will reply to you invite you into their house and then um yeah just chat to you about business because again they've, they've seen themselves kind of building this this business and then if they see like younger people or other people who are also trying to do what they're doing they can really relate to that and they, they want to help out um especially if it's not competing of course and uh yeah that 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 was another part which which was super crucial for us in this this beginning of uh, setting up this company and then lastly something that that really helped us at the beginning and and also now is that we're we're super passionate about this project we we really do believe that that we're contributing to a better world with this project and that that we can convince people to get rid of their cars because essentially that's what we're trying to do we we, we see that, that there's way too many cars in cities that they're, they're taking up way too much space they're really bad for the environment and they're also unsafe. So us introducing this kind of like fun concept where you can get around the city really easily and actually at a really good price, uh, we, we see that this can make cities a much better place to live. And that's definitely something that I would want for my kids in the future. Um, and th th this is this was difficult for us to find really that, that something that we're passionate about. And I think we had to kind of like fail a lot of different projects that weren't interesting for us to kind of find what it was that was more interesting for us. I still think we were quite quick at finding that. And I've talked to other people where they've, they've had like three or four different failed startups where they've even been doing them for a couple of years. But then finally they did find that one thing that they really liked. But again, all of their previous experiences um, really helped them into their new startup. So just, just trying a lot of different things until we find the thing that you're passionate about is, is, super crucial um but yeah the, the, these these are kind of like the the main three points i think that that helped us build this company and to kind of help us go from having nothing no money no connections no uh, not knowing what to do next to kind of like yeah building up this company so it's really um you need to be passionate about the project for sure i think being shameless as well it's 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 a bit of a silly one but it's it's super good because you need to want to tell people about what you're doing. You can't be kind of ashamed because it's maybe not where you want it to be or um, what they might think about it, but you, you need to tell people about it because they'll want to help you or you saying it makes it kind of, then, then you're committed as well because then you have to do it. You've got to prove to that person that, that this is something that you really believe in that you're doing. And then of course, being open to learning. This is just, just good in general, I think, to have because um, yeah, you can't be perfect and it's good to have people around you who are smarter than you and can really help you out with what you're doing. And then just always asking, like, how, how, what can I do differently to make this a success? So, yeah, that was kind of like the, the, the main things I think that, that have helped us build this company. And uh, if you're working on your own project, please try to think about how this could maybe help you. And uh, I wish you a lot of success in that.